It's Monday, I felt like being a little bit more dramatic, and I thought to myself, you know what, we should do a build today. XPG has been trickling through a bunch of all of these new parts that they announced at Computex, so they're actually making cases, CPU coolers, power supplies, basically everything to build a fully XPG themed system. So I thought I would take you guys part shopping with me as I uh, pick what we're gonna put in this build and then we're gonna build it. So yeah, uh, let, let's go Let's go part shopping in the Gearsega studio. All right, ladies and gents, let's go part shopping. I wanna use this because we haven't used it yet for a build rather so yeah 1660 super please don't get disappointed oh that box is gonna fall <laughs> i guess i better put that back <laughs> sorry it's empty it's okay it's fine what else uh let's go for we haven't done a ryzen build in a while let's go for the 3600x not for resale 3600x what else have we got uh, motherboard, let's go X570 because, you know, I'm feeling adventurous. Let's go, we haven't used that one in a while. Let's go for that. X570 Aorus Pro Wi-Fi. Okay. Eh, eh. Okay. Let's go for that. Building my part stash up. Okay. Other part of the studio to go shopping in. What else can, okay. Obviously it's XVG, so we'll go S40G. Yes. Let's just uh, gently place this over here. What's this, a core reactor 750 gold? A modular power supply, yes. Yes guys, this video is not sponsored by XPG. They just sent us a butt ton of stuff because that's just how we roll. An AIO, should be enough for our 3600X. All right, and the reason why I'm doing it this way is so I don't have to talk about the parts because you can see everything. We're gonna need a case, okay. Let's go and find a case. Okay, let's go case hunting, case hunting, case hunting, case hunting. There we are. XPG Battle Cruiser. Let's use that. <laughs> cool. Alrighty, we've picked all the parts for this XPG build. So I think it's time to engage cinematic mode. Let's do it.
peel zones. I'm calling them peel zones. So we're going to peel all four panels and see if we get some of that awesome peeling ASMR goodness. Let's start off at the front. Oh. It's not looking very promising. That's not looking very promising ladies and gents. I'm telling you now. Back panel time. Let's see what happens. If we get something good happening, oh, it's sounding a little bit better. <laughs> I broke it. <laughs> no, the worst peel of all time. <laughs> wow. Yeah, easily the worst. And last but not least, the main side panel. Now that's more like it. A little bit disappointing. Yeah, you know what time it is. Let's do it, let's do that. into all the parts that we use in this build obviously because most of it's XPG stuff but I'll put a PC part picker list down in the description like we usually do but I will quickly gloss over a few of the parts so the CPU we went with was the Ryzen 5 3600X the reason why I chose this CPU is because we had it and like I say in all of these build videos we only use parts that we actually have on hand and the reason why we use them is literally for that reason because we have them on hand the GPU is the Gigabyte 1660 Super Gaming
Sling OC. Now we actually benchmarked this when it released. You can check it out in the top right hand corner if you want to see how it performed with our test bench, but we actually did benchmarks for this video as well. I know there's going to be comments about why we didn't use XPG RGB memory. We didn't actually have any and we couldn't actually get some in time for this build. So we used the D30 that we use on our test bench. We just pulled it off the test bench and chucked it in this system so we could have some XPG memory as well. The motherboard's the Gigabyte X570 Aorus Pro Wi-Fi. We've used this board quite a lot. We use it for our Ryzen 3000 testing and it's proved to be a pretty solid X570 option if you were looking to get this board as well. Now a few more of the XPG specific products like the XPG Battle Cruiser, it's their new case. Airflow is, appears to be pretty good, it's got this huge open inlet on the side, it's got a lot of venting around the sides as well. It's also got a dust filter which sits behind the front glass. This gap is probably about, I'm going to say 18 to 20 millimeters so it's actually quite large it's got a dust filter up top we also use the xpg levante 240 aio this is their new aio it's actually based on an acer tech cooler so uh, if you're familiar with installing those it'll be quite easy to get installed the four additional rgb fans that you're seeing in this build actually come in the case as well so if you were to buy the battle cruiser you actually get four ARGB fans which is Quite a nice addition, can't be upset with that. It's got USB type C on the top, it's got RGB control built straight into the case. Cable management's pretty good. The other side of the case has a glass side panel, so when you're doing cable management, make sure you take that into account. Uh, I did an okay job, I didn't spend too much time cable managing it, but overall, I think the Battle Cruiser's quite nice. It's, it's not personally something that I would use, but I can see uh, it being something that would appeal to quite a few people. Okay, it's that time of the video. We're gonna do some benchmarks. We're using our regular suite of benchmarks. We use these three benchmarks for every single system and every GPU and basically everything on the channel. So you can go back to any of our videos where we've benchmarked anything and you can see how this system stacks up to the rest of basically everything else on the channel. So let's do a benchmarking thing. That's our XPG build done. I hope you enjoyed this different style of build video. I'm really enjoying doing it in this, this, this format now. It makes it nice and easy, less stress, there's no script, there's nothing literally all from the top of the dome. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm really, really enjoying this new workflow. It's making me feel really excited about building PCs again. Also, if you want to know any of the parts, there's a PC part picker list down in the description. Did I say that right? I felt like that sounded weird. Anyway, we've got a Patreon as well. I make all the music on the channel, so if you want any of the music that we use, yeah, it's me. 
I produce it all. Uh, we've got merch and all of that stuff as well. There's links down in the description as well. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do. And obviously, tell us what you hated about it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek. We seek. And I really hope you're enjoying this new build format. I'm really enjoying making videos like this now. I've got like my mojo back and I'm just feeling super happy to be making videos again. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.